Okay. Pashas Nosei. Um, let's not get into this. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm on. Doesn't look like anyone's there. Oh, okay, I got it. I got away. Okay, I got away. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, so it says so by uh, after the Mice and Levium, the Taira puts together two interesting pieces. One is about Gesla Gale, and one is by stealing Tavis Hanoya. So the interesting part, the first part is which we had in the in, really in in Yikra. Uh, no, it was about mid, but we had it in in Parashas Vayikra. The here, but the habits repeat it again. Here, the thing is, it says like the Vadaba Bnei So Isha Isha Kiyasu Mikochate So Adam Limo Mal Bashem to be Mal Bashem. In other words, they chepit the Rabbein Shalom. It's not that they chepit something of the Rabbein Shalom. They chepit the Rabbein Shalom. What is that thing that they did, that che- that's, that chep is the Rebbeinu Shalelem, is that they stole money from a girl. And therefore the girl has no children, and they want to now do tshuva, so they have to return it with a, with a chaymish and a korban, and that goes to the koyin, the, the money in the korban. But again, the terminology, they were mo'al bashem, when a person steals, he's more al bashem, more than any other avera, and, and there is, is simply that he's more bashem, meaning he's claiming God can't take care of him, can't, or God doesn't take care of him, or he can take what God doesn't want to give him. However, you want to translate why he's stealing, uh, it's all the same thing. He's telling that God is incapable of something, and that is considered the meal of bashem. And uh, the same thing we saw about the Maisa Oshem, where in, in, in Tashis uh, Vayikra, where you have the Oshem. So the Oshem for, for Me'il itself is just considered Me'il. The guy took something, he has to bring a cob, and that's it. Doesn't say anything it was more by Shem, just took English. Over here, when he got to Gezel, it says more by Shem. And that's the reason because you, it's the biggest uh, kafir of shayach in a way. And that's something that could be why in Oshamnu, which even though we talk about attitudes more than anything else when you say Oshamnu, the only Yavera there is Gezel. Or anything that shayach is to Gezel, it's there. Because those things, we have somehow uh, uh, that feeling still we're going to get away with something. We're gonna we're gonna get something for nothing. Uh, that whole attitude, that chat is you know nobody saw me. I don't have to pay for it. Uh, you know, mazik or something like that. Uh, you have many things we we people are even gezo without even realizing what they're doing, and it's only because of that yitzhara that they think that you know they're not gonna have it unless they steal, unless they do this this finagling this kind of uh, crooked business. That's the only way they're going to have it, and that's by saying that God can't give it to them, or that they can take something that God doesn't want to give them. And if God wants to give it to them, that means they're successful, then they would have done it honestly, they would have gotten it also. Uh, and, and if God doesn't want to give it to you, so this guy's not going to be a successful guy enough either. He's going to drop it, he's going to get caught, Whatever it is there, so it doesn't make a difference, and then God doesn't want him to have it. But if he wants him to have it, he would have had it legally. So therefore, all these shtick, all the things that a person has, feels he's, he's doing, push it, because that's the only way I can make it, that's really unnecessary. Don't most people will steal because they see uh, easy money? They see an easy way to get stuff. They don't think about these things. Right? Uh, that's what I'm saying. They don't think. That's the trouble. I mean, they, 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 they don't realize that what they're doing. You know, with the tremendous whatever. I like, mean, it's all for money, so I took it. So what, 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 what's your cash? Why do you call me a kaifer for? But if a guy understands that the chat is, I think I can, 
that God is not giving it to me, so I got to take it, so that, that, that's Kfirah. So if you realize that, you wouldn't do it. So that's the, that's the, that's why it's called Mor Mabasha. It also happens to be in the same parish as we said, as it's, that someone's still in Teva Sanoya from a person. What's a Teva Sanoya? A guy has Trum and Maisa, you can give it to anyone he wants to give it to. He doesn't have to give it to, to uh, someone you, you want. And the kind comes along and says, you know, Yo, me, I, I want the Trum. Sorry, you know, I, have my, I have a nephew that wants Trum. I have a son-in-law that's a Kayan. I intend to give it to them. I mean, why, why should I give it to you, right? And that's the Tevis Hanoi that I have. We talk for Kayan and those things, and then Gansi Shailis about the, 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 the Chazoki and these things. We're not getting involved in that. But, the, but as far as the union of uh, the Tevis Hanoi, a person has a right to give to whoever he wants to. Then goes to the stockers, then goes to everything else. And you can't have a time of a shiva zatzal. Uh, would never have a time that they said we should go to this gevir. You know, he's giving, never gave us. We we'll probably get for him. He said the guy gives. What? What's your problem? He, he, he you have a shadi doesn't give enough. You know, that's a different story. But if you hold that he gives, you just want to take the money that he gives somewhere else. That's not a big yichus. What are you going to take the money from somebody else for? You know, so therefore he would not go for something like that. But if you have a guy who has more money, okay, it's a different story. Then we're going to go also, like anybody else, about to take someone else's is uh, for what? And it also teaches us the concept of uh, what we own in this world. What do we really own? We had this in the, in the Palace in Bahar, in Bahar, talking about Shemitah and so on. Um, I think we just mess, mentioned it then, I don't remember for sure. But it's in, in Bab Mitzi, you have two places, Sayyan Yud Aleph and Sayyan Daf Yud. On Yud Aleph, we learn uh, the Indian of Shikha, that Oymid, I mean, I'm sorry, we learn Oymid Bitzat Tzadayu, that you kind of, Oymid Bitzat Tzadayu, from the door of Shikha. Uh, meaning you have an open field, and a lame, a lame uh, deer runs into it, let's say. And if somebody obviously can catch, if you can't catch it, you don't got it. So they can say, it's mine, and I'm going to work on getting it, how I'm going to catch it, or whatever it is, that's my business. Otherwise, it was open territories. No, 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 it doesn't have to stay here. So if you can, you know, even such a day. Something that actually lasts in my son, in my son and it's, and it's uh, you know, I have it uh, fenced in. I have it protected, like my house, so that's mine. You can not take it. But that is, if I have no dust to be kinder, I don't expect to be kinder, especially if an animal traveling by, I'm definitely not going to stop my property. If it stops my property, I'm not going to say I'm kinder because it runs right out of my property. That's no yichas. You have a motcha that even says a din, if someone loses, let's say, a quarter in my house, and somebody else finds it, is it mine or his? And the din is it's his, according to the Mordechai. Why? Because I never had das to be kind of the quarter. You don't expect people to lose money in your house. And therefore, you have no das for, for your Kenyan. So therefore, you weren't kind of. On the other hand, the other guy picked it up. He did, so he, did, so he had it. Okay. Um, that basically all ownership is really by rights of the Rebbeinu Shalom. So as I'm saying, um, so we, we, we learned Shikha from Tzad, all the mice in the, in the mission about by Yoyman Tzad today, by Shikha. Uh, there, were, there were workers that were tying the bundles together, and they forgot one. <coughs> And the owner did not forget it. Obviously, he's standing right over there. And he said, hey, hey, you got to go back to that. You know, the Shadlers, they already passed it. Does it remind us, do I have to give it to the poor people or not? So it says, hey, since you were there, you were kind of. It's your, it's your thing because you really didn't forget about it. So you, it's a, you you're kind of. There's the question, what do you need a Kenyan for? It's his field. Right? He grew in his field. So if he didn't forget about it, it's not shikha. 
So you see that, that, that what, 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 what the din is. The din is, I have only first rights to take from this field. If I didn't take it, so then it goes to the poor people. They got the second rights. And Shadley, so now, if I didn't take it, because my workers missed it, if I wouldn't have been there, so then it's forgotten. But by the fact that I'm there, I still have a right to be coined because there was was was, an, was was a mistake there for getting it. So I can be coined still, but I have to be coined. It's, it's not mine automatically. I have to be coined. That's the... You have on that time of your Aleph. And that you have a Papa says that you have that an uh, Oni has a dollar amis in in the Gabi the din of Peya, Besoda Chaveri. Now, so the, the, the din of dollar amis is, means it's my Rishus. It's not applicable in an actual Rishus of Rabbi because that's too crowded. But in a, in a, in a, in a what do you call it? See the Rishus of Rabbi, the concept of dollar amis. That something is, I see something there, and it's in my wishes, I'm in it with my wishes. So they want to know if it would work for payer vishus chaveri. How could it work in payer vishus chaveri? The other guy's field, right? But since right now it's not the other guy's field, the thing is now made for the anim, so they get what's left on the field, the payer, the shikro, the leket, they get all the rest of the stuff. So therefore, they can be kind of dollar numbers because right now it's their fields. It's like it's like tradition So they see that the Torah didn't just give us the stuff. It's it's cheshbenus of how we get it. Same thing when we sell thing and with the shmita you can only sell it for a certain price. Uh, when you have to redeem it for a certain price, they have also the din of uh, of bikurim. Uh, so the, uh, I think it's a Sifri that says, it says, So they say on it, I want you to do a mitzvah that through this you're going to be so eager to, to inherit it. What is the mitzvah? The mitzvah is uh, Bikurum. Why is Bikurum the mitzvah? What do you give in Bikurum? You give the first fruits, then you bring it to the base of Miglash, and then you give it to the Koyin. Um, do the first fruits mean anything to anybody except the owner? The truth is, the fruits probably don't even taste so good, because the first crop, we know whether you buy a, 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 what do you call a peach, a plum, or whatever it is from the first crop, somehow it, it just didn't make it yet. And so you had to wait till the middle of the season, that's when you're really going to enjoy it. So why am I giving shikha for the first? Because the first has value, so it's called a sentimental value, I don't know what value actually it has. I've never had the, the pleasure of, of needing such a thing. But you go into a store and you see on the wall, uh, usually uh, taped some dollar bills, uh, or 20, depending on the type of store. You know, sometimes just one dollar. This is the first dollar I made. This is the first 20 I made, or something like that. So therefore, they just say, it's a $20 bill, it's all it is, right? But it's the first one I made, so that means something to me. So this is the first fruit that I might feel produced, so it means something to me, and that's the fruit you give away. And that's where you give meaning that you're saying to the Rebbeinah Shalom, we don't consider it our fields. It's really yours. You, you're letting us be here. You're letting us uh, enjoy it. That's the thing. And that's how we really have to think about all the nechassim we have. That it's really on loan from the Rebbeinah It goes when we have it, enjoy it. Give, you, give the mice for it. What do you think? Though? Give more than that. In the case where it's more, uh, I don't know if we discussed it last time, but uh, the Indian of how, many, how do you know how much money I have to give you. Find the Gemara that says about Nagdim uh, ben Gurion, they lost all his money. And why was it? Because he didn't give enough stock in. The Gemara says, of course he gave stock in, he gave a lot of it. He said, but 
and the camel's weight goes according, the weight you put on a camel goes according to its size. Obviously, Maisa Chaimish doesn't wasn't enough for him. He had to give a lot more. How much did he give? What's the shear? Uh, I don't know if this can be an exact number, uh, but you can work this way. Uh, there's a Rebbeinu Yehne Novus. I think it's ten on the, on the Mishnah of Ten Leim uh, that he says. That if a melech would give you a thousand uh, called dollars, and he asks you to give a hundred to nine people, and you can keep one, wouldn't you be very happy about that? Of course. Okay, so that's who wants to tie it. I'm, I'm, my job was to give out the nine hundred and keep one hundred. Where is there such halach of keeping one hundred? The halach is the other way. I give out, I give out with ten percent, and I keep ninety for myself. I give you, you want to keep 80 for yourself, for yourself uh, but where do you get the union of giving away 90? So obviously we're talking about such a case. What's, what's this case mean? I think for Hasogiv money, it's break it down into numbers that we understand. A million dollars is a thousand dollars a day, and that we understand, a thousand dollars we understand. Thousand dollars a day for three years, about three years, right? Okay, it's a million dollars. Nice, nice, because no one spends a thousand dollars a day, or the chayre not, except they're buying furniture and all that. And then you don't buy, then you don't do it every day. So meanwhile, you're saving all this money that you have. So it's it, it's good money, right? What's a thousand? What's a billion dollars? We have billionaires in the world also. It's a thousand dollars a day for three thousand years. Who needs money for three thousand years? So you'll say, "Well, I need for my descendants." Okay, which descendants do you need it for? So this says the avas have of labonim is till the grandchildren. Okay, so you have your title for your children, your grandchildren. Maybe the great grandchildren you see. Okay, so take it if she can leave them something, right? The great greats already, already uh, well, you probably need one more daughter to be kosher ladies. And the stuff like this, they say, I heard that the uh, uh, Yashiv was talking to see six generations. And when they told him about the sixth one, you know, when the bliss and stuff, you know, kosher ladies. That means the, the relationship is that far that you're now kosher ladies even though he's a descendant of mine. But they don't have that emotion that you have by your children and your grandchildren. You have, you know, it's a uh, shame that made a big party for Avram when he came victorious after Kedolayma. Kedolayma is a grandson of his, or, I mean, great, 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 whatever it is there, because he's the Melech Elam, Elam is his son, and he's the Melech Elam. So he's, uh, what do you call it? And he makes a party for this grandson against this grandson. I mean, like, obviously, there's no personal emotion in there anymore. Now we're talking about what's right or wrong. So I'm not leaving it for them. That, 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 that's a silly thing. That's not, that's not the thing. That's not. So why did God give you this money? So we said that enough money, at least with the Chesh bin, if it's called normal. Obviously, it's given to you as a gizbel to give out to the people. It's not made for you, it's not for your use because you don't need it. And therefore it's your job to go out and give it out to the ones who need it. And it's a, it's a big responsibility. And I always wonder myself, you know, if, you, if I won the, you know, there was, a, there was a guy that actually won a lot of a, a billion dollars, I think it was, or something like that, so close to it or more than that. Uh, last year, two years ago, a guy actually won it. One guy, what would you do? Would I be able to take off at least 90% and give it away? I'm used to giving $100, $200 maybe, but you know, I don't, how, how are you gonna give away $100 million, $200 million, $300 million? It's, it's some I can't even understand. And uh, once Lubgesha, once Naira uh, once said, that you know why God created checks. 
you know, uh, it's a very convenient thing. It's very nice. Why did God create it? He says, when you go to a, to a, a Gevir, put stock it, and he wrote down a truck for 100. He said, make it another zero. Make it another zero. Right? So he'll think one way, the other way, and then he puts in the zero. Right? Okay. Try it if he would give you cash. He gave you a $100 bill and say, well, maybe you'll give me another nine. Well, it's a joke. Nothing's going to happen. But in the check, it's very easy. And also for, for business, they made the credit cards for this. It's not, no. Simply, you don't know what you're spending. I'll give you a mushroom. When you used to get a paycheck, you didn't get a paycheck, you got a pay envelope. Everything was in cash. So you got your envelope, <coughs> and as you're spending it, <coughs> you know it's getting less and less. Go right in front of your eyes. Think of this. I never see how much I make. The check goes deposited right away. I never feel that cash in my fingers. I don't see how much I spend because I always write out checks. So my mail there, this times, and then we do with a credit card, it's for sure. You know, uh, just easy, buy it, you know, just take it. You know how much you're working for? You just bought a couch, a car, thing, you bought a car. They $35,000 for it, right? Do you realize how much you you worked to, to pay for that car? Oh, it doesn't register. That, I mean, I, I worked six months for that car. You're crazy, I don't want to work for six months for that car. Who needs a car, right? But you don't need you because it's very easy. You just put it down there. You're not malgish what you have to do. You have to count out $35,000. Believe me, you wouldn't plan that so fast. Okay, so that's about ownership. <clears throat> the union of Shaita. So, it's what is Ruach Tume, what is Ruach Taira. So how do you say a Ruach Taira? No, he, 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 he feels uh, not jealous of his wife, but he's choshe his wife. Or he's not really choshe at the moment, he's choshe for the possibility that it could be. And therefore he says, I don't want you to be, to be miyached with this guy. Now why? Something bugged him, and then and, and, and what he called, and it was a, thing, a valid thing. Not because necessarily he's, she's doing anything wrong. The thing is the situation can cause a situation where something may go wrong. And you never know what the other guy's thinking. So therefore there's always a problem. Now, in a way, it stops people from coming to do an avail. That's what, in other words, by, by putting a stop to something, you don't come to the Aveda, so that's good enough. We're not interested <coughs> in catching people <coughs> do Aveda. We want to make sure they don't do Aveda, so therefore it's a rough tire. Anyway, it says after that comes the of uh, Nazir. I've actually been around the Gemara that says, that, you know, why Romanism uh Pausha's Nozit to the Pausha of Saita? Because if a guy sees Saita, Bill Kilkula, he should be Yazarats min ayayin. The way we normally understand it to me, it's I'm going to, I see what, what uh, drunkenness could happen to cause a person to, to get rid of his. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Inhibitions. Inhibitions. Yeah, rid of inhibitions. And the melee he can fall. So that's the, so therefore, become a, a nausea and then don't drink wine. The trouble with the nausea is it's not only the wine that's also, it's grapes are also us. Raisins are also. On the other hand, the good bourbon and a good, and a good, and a good even uh, scotch is mutter. Like, how come they're mutter? Brandy will be also. What the, what the, what the Scotch should, and bourbon should be mutter. 
So if it's a point of keeping away from drunkenness, I mean, the, uh, the, that's not seeming to do the job. So obviously that's not the reason. You know, she is said to, so I but the Gemara says so. The Gemara means to say that you have to, you see, every person, we're not choshering for doing Averus, he has a cheskes kashos. How could he have cheskes kashos? There's Averus all over the place. People have yetzahoras. How do you have a cheskes kashos? Right? You're being un- unrealistic. I'm saying he has a cheskes kashos because the fact that the tailor said it's also, we trust everybody that their keches hanefesh is going to protect them from having to do an Avera. We're not talking about people who are not, who are not religious. We're not talking about people who really don't care about the Avera. Avada don't have a problem. We're talking about an El Chiyid. An El Chiyid is going to have a Shaila. Avada, he may have to fight with his Yetzirah, but his Yetzirah is generally going to win. I mean, his, uh, his Rats and Atayv is going to win. Sometimes you lose. Okay. If you lose, that means I have to protect myself more. You don't understand this better than in, 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 in the Chuba. In the midst of Chuba, there are three parts the Rambam counts. You have to have Chawat Aloba, Mikabal Alosid, and you have to say, uh, you have to say Vidu. So Shiva, yes, he says, I, I don't remember his answer. I'm going to give you a different answer, maybe, or maybe it's the same. I have no idea. Um, so he asked the question, made lecha what I love about. That's obvious. Vidui, also, I think when you express yourself, you, know, you say it out loud, you feel that what you've done is how wrong it is. You just think about it like you try to cover it up that way. But if you actually can say it out loud, I am a Ghana, I am this, then it, then what it, will, then it has an effect on you. But Kabbalah's Allah said, even a regular Jew who didn't steal, who didn't steal, who didn't do an Aveda, he, he also has to have Kabbalah Allah said. He said that he has to have commit me, he's not going to do an Aveda later. So why is that a chalik? Of, of, of tshuva, just says, do tshuva, yet hold of, of an eye, a regular Jew, and then whatever it is. So I tied it, uh, I, I tied it, it means you need to have a siog. What you've seen is your normal your nekeches hanefesh, that we are supposed to be able to control yourself, was not enough. You weren't able to control yourself. So now you mechuyev to put in certain safeguards that to keep you safe. So that's a din of a shiog. So now that's the thing. One of these safeguards or shiva learned would be nizirus. I make myself holy. A nizir is a holy person. He keeps himself perish more. He comes a din nemsen like a kohen gadol. He has he, he can't be mitamal mess all the way like a kohen gadol. Not like a coin, like a coin gadol. Uh, except for a mitzvah, mamish can't do anything. He couldn't, he can't do anything. So, you know, how does that work? Yeah, by, by being a porush, a bigger porush, he has the keches and nefesh now to overcome the yitzor. I'm not, I'm not the regular guy. I have added holiness in me, and that helps me to to protect myself from falling in abayah. So that's uh, that's the end of uh, of uh, Yasach Menayim. Now there's an interesting halacha that the the Nozer does when he uh, becomes uh, coming and he's coming to uh, bring the korbanos. He has to take off shove off all his hair, and he takes the hair and he throws it under the pot where they're cooking into the fire, the pot that they're cooking the. Uh, the uh, the chattas of the nazir. Mm. A strange thing, but that's what it says to do. So there's a mice in the Gemara in Dorim of Abom and Adorim. That the only uh, nazir or or or, or nazir tomei, the machlekes, 
that Shivnath Sadik ate from. In other words, he always thought that people who became Nazirim were generally for control. Well, you know, they need control of something, they made an Ezra. Now, the, uh, there are the Shainim that say in the Ferish, it's, it's brought down in other places, that it's not such a big mile to be, uh, uh, to make an Ezra that I'm going to, even though it's called an Ezra, an Ezra is that I'm a nether, let's say I don't get up to davening, right? He's going to make a nether, I'm going to get up to davening, right? So why is he making this nether? Because he's not doing it. He figures the fact that I don't want to behave a nether, I'm going to do it. So it's strange what God told you to do was get up for davening that you don't listen to. But if you tell yourself to get up for davening that you listen to, that's a little bit of a chutzpah. Not to say nothing. So therefore, to make the dog is not a, a very good, obviously if it's going to help me, that's the most important part. But the question is, why is it helping me? And that, uh, it, sh it shouldn't be really helping me. But, I'm learning this. so the same thing goes with, if you go into Nesiros or anything else that you're going, I'm doing it to protect myself from doing something wrong. Either for the issue or whatever, it is, that should be the biggest mitzvah. Why didn't he eat from anyone else? I'm sure there must have been people that control themselves to the wine, so a sight, so therefore they're, they're, they're making the nizal. So it's all the Shem Shemayim. So why, what's your problem of eating it? The Shailas, he held that guy, that guy, first of all, the Shailas, by being elongated, this man, because he didn't expect the tumult to happen. So now instead of 30 days, he now has, let's see, for the 60 days, he became Tom in the last days, he has 60 days. They didn't, they didn't expect that to happen, so he has charote now on his, on his nether and stuff like that. So therefore, he didn't want to eat. It was not so much the Shem Shemayim that thing and that. Until they came this guy, Borman Adorim, who was this guy, he came, who happened to be an extremely handsome person, and, uh, and, and he saw how his hair grew, uh, what do you call it? And uh, he asked him, why did you become an Azim? He said he was a shepherd for his father, and he was took the sheep to the to the water, or whatever wherever they drink from, and he saw his reflection in the mirror, in the water, and he said, and the Yitzhahara took hold of him, and he said, Yitzhahara, well, I'm going to take, I'm going to, I'm going to think, I think he's talking to the hair, not the Yitzhahara. I'm going to make kaddish you l'shem shemayim, and I'm going to become a nosir. Now, how do you make comments? If his purpose was to protect himself, because his hair is so beautiful, to protect himself from becoming a Eva and Avera, so therefore he's going to shave it off in 30 days, he got 30 days to still, to still be chaita, it's still beautiful. Why don't you just take a scissor and cut off your hair? Right? So obviously, that was not what he meant. He meant that you're so beautiful that you, you're something that's a beauty. And of course you can do other things, but God made a beautiful thing. I'm gonna give it to God. What do you, what can you give here to God? So the only mice you have is to burn put it under the coven that you have that you bring to a nausea. So he became a nausea. Not, not not because he was afraid he was gonna be able to avail it, but because he was able to use that here, which was the beautiful thing that God gave him not for taiva, but to find something for a little bit of a mitzvah type of an angle. Now, Bikas Gahanim is one, the third bracha, is something very strange. We say, Yisha Hashem Elecha, Yisha Hashem Panav Elecha, 
he should show favoritism <coughs> to you. How can God show favoritism? He says the Venetian doesn't show favoritism. The use upon him doesn't show upon him, he doesn't take Shechad. The use upon him doesn't show favoritism. He's Emes. So how can he show favoritism to you? So what's the Baruch of Yisai Shem Nanu Elechem? So obviously the Ben Shem told him to give this Baruch. So obviously he, he, there's a possibility that the Ben Shem will show favoritism. So the Malachi Ashor is is the Ben Shem you said you don't let you don't give favoritism, and how do you hear it says he says Shem Kano Elechem? So the Ben Shem answered him, How should I not? I said a mitzvah that when do you have to show gratitude to, to me for giving you the food and everything else when you feel sufficiently when you feel satisfied because you ate enough right? and what do they do they ate they come and they make they they bench they bench you know you need a uh, kezayis or kebeya and say for me I have to show them gratitude too I mean, uh, my favoritism too, because they're willing to do this gratitude to me. You know, the first kash you have, it's a brach levatola. So what are you telling me that it's a maile? It's a brach levatola. Oh, but the Rabbonin, so why did the Rabbonin make such a law? And, and even according to Rabbonin, if I did say I need a half a kezayis, would I be able to bench? No, be a brach levatola. So why is it when you need you have to first be full and I'm not full so what makes you have to do it? What's the mile in it? So I want to tie it like this. That's talking about where a person benches when, he's un when, he's, when he has no gratitude for what he has but the Rabbana made a law you have the bench. So I bench. So the cash is why the Rabbana makes such a law, but, but, but that's my thing. What happens really if a person has true gratitude for what you gave him? He votes a Kezayis only, a Kebay only, but this will keep him alive for another day, another week, whatever it will keep him alive until he maybe can find more. And he has that gratitude, thank you for that, for giving me this chance. Well, his days of I'm allowed, I'm not going to be alive yet be more because of it. Even though I don't, I'm not full. I'm not still hungry. You haven't satisfied me. But the Maise, I feel gratitude to you. The thing is, the Torah doesn't expect gratitude until you're full. But if you have gratitude before, you must say thank you. That's a, that's a much mentioned case. If someone gives you something and you and you you're thankful for it, you say thank you. If I'm not thankful for it, okay, maybe not. But if I'm thankful for it, I say I, I, I say thank you. So here also you have to say. So once there is such a person or people in Kaisal that can do that, the Rabbani came along and said, "We'll make a din that everyone has to do it." And even though right now they don't feel gratitude, hopefully by continuing to do this, they will feel gratitude even when they don't eat a kezayi sekebeya. That's the time of the Rabbana. If you eat, if you eat shalabi and this press, if I eat? Shalabi and this press, you don't eat it, but you're, you're, you're full, full anyway. at the end. You don't need a kezayi. You, you don't have the bench, but you're, you're, you're allowed to bench. Are you allowed to bench? No. You ate it all together. You, you yeah, you understand, but I didn't eat from bread. No, no. You, no, you, you didn't eat it today after this past, but you, over the course of an hour, you ate today severe, but you oh, didn't that, eat that it That could be. That could be. That, 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 that may be. Shabbos Mitzvah, if you mean. That could be. Uh, I mean, from Kluk, I don't have on that. But uh, that could be. Because the truth is, when you sit down to eat, right? Let's say a person on a diet uh, eats one slice of bread in the course of the meal. When, the, when does he eat it? That's about a kezayis. Maybe it's a kebeya. When is he going to eat it? So usually he takes a piece with this bite, and takes a piece with this bite, and then once it's the whole meal. So is he going to bench or not? 
That's where you have your shaila. Then you know, it's a real practical shaila, a real realistic shaila, and so on. So some people take it, eat a kezayis right away. So as soon as they wash, <coughs> there's definitely no chiv to do that. <coughs> what you could do is just be take teima and save your, let's say, your bread for the main course. Don't save it for a sandwich or something. And uh, they okay, so not I'll eat particular little spas, even though I eat for a lot of other things in the meal. But that what the but ultimately I'm gonna eat because uh, I is little spas. But Taki, what happens if I don't? Uh, but uh, but Pashtas, uh, we make we try to make careful to make it the spas. If the idea is the gratitude, so why would you be allowed? I, I understand, to but, but obviously it is the, the, that's the, the whole uh, the kalbuchema that is. That, you know, that it's a need of gratitude. The Shaila is you can say uh, he ate all the other things. Either first of all, either it's uh, Taki, you get hungry quicker. So, uh, you know, it takes bread to make you really have gratitude that you're full for the next meal. Uh, anything less than that wouldn't want to it. Or well, maybe not, then you, know, you can upset your stomach too. This wasn't bread somehow, doesn't upset your stomach. If you eat only vegetables, you only eat what you call, yeah, you can probably upset your stomach and stuff like that. So maybe those are the reasons. I, I, don't, I can't answer it, I don't know. Anyway, they, uh, they came on the day, they put up the Mishkan, which is a Shredish Nisan. The Nisim, who when they gave the money originally, by the donations to the Mishkan, did not participate in the Mishkan except for the Matzah Shekel. They had told him if they if they gave for that. But the uh, like this they didn't they didn't win. even though they gave a blank check to the, to the Gizba and told them whatever money you need, you just come back to us and we will supply that need. Klai Yisrael never needed it. I mean, the, the Michigan Committee never needed it, and therefore they lost out on their being able to participate in the Michigan. Even though, in the normal case, of they're wonderful people and everything else, but to become, a, what do you call it, the uh, div um, that they didn't become. And therefore they took out the Yud, from the, from the extra Yud in the Siyam, when they when it's talking about in Parshas uh, Pikude, and then they brought the dime, they brought all the stones for the for the for the mish, for the uh, Chayshin, they brought uh, the Havnim Eluim, they brought all the Ketavas and all the Shemin. I mean, you're talking about an awful lot of stuff in the millions, probably. And uh, so, like you know, they give more than anybody else, and yet they're not considered in a deep life. And a guy who participated every day, he came and he said, what are you building today? Uh, we're building uh, the oven today. Okay, you're building the oven, that means X amount of gold, X amount of what he called you need. So my chalik is, uh, let's say, a quarter. Here it is. So he came out, we made a chalik once, about for 30, for 30 uh, dinlin, silver dinlin, you probably uh, would consider it a deep life. I don't mean there was one gold in a plus a silver for five silver dinners. I can't ask you like with the value in that, I don't know. But I assume it was everybody had it. They didn't have it that way, they have it in value. They gave the gave the uh, that was in place of it. They had the Atishitim, they gave the uh, the Oiris, they gave whatever they gave, they gave things of value which was equal to maybe what, whatever they needed to give. So I think about, about part 30 didn't let me figure it out. It doesn't come out to more than that. You divide the, the silver, how much gold they had to give, you know, it's, uh, silver didn't give anymore. And all the other things, approximately sure, it's more than 30 is probably over the top. And they're considering the deep lay because they cared, they were involved, they wanted to be involved all the time. Whatever is necessary, that's when we're there. On the other hand, the other guys were not there, 
when you finish and you need your short, come to us, we'll give you. That's not good enough. So they came and they wanted to make up for this. They're going to bring Corbanus. It can't be the Corbanus. It doesn't make sense. What is, how does that make up for this? But they gave, they gave first six, uh, 12 oxen and six wagons. That made it possible to travel <coughs> like this. <coughs> Obvious thing, and they need something to transport the beams. How are they going to carry? How are they going to carry the crusher? Okay, you can get a couple of them, and they'll be in the middle there, and they'll carry it. They could be. I mean, maybe it could have been done that way. I, I don't know. Maybe you have enough of them for it. It could be. The uh, the uh, oven, or maybe the bench will make a nest, like by the oven. The Owen uh, weighed about 10,000 pounds, and you have four guys trying to lift it up, and the, and the sticks that are holding it up should have busted. And all this was Nisim, the, uh, the sockets of the beams, of, of the uh, things that you carry it with, are made out of pure gold. Pure gold stretches, it doesn't, uh, and breaks in the end. So how could it possibly lift up the, this, this box? No matter how light the box is, it's still going to break through the gold and stuff like that, pure gold. And yet, obviously, it worked. So it must have been Nissan that happened. So maybe for this also, it would have been Nissan. I can't even see it. Uh, but at the end, it says, Mephesh is Nissan, the almost Nisus nice, Nisus. Nice but it didn't say that about the table. It didn't say that about the other the, the other clay, Amishkan. I'm saying to maybe it would have had to carry it that way. I don't know. But normally, there's something missing yet. And the Nassim came and fulfilled that, mess, that that part that was missing. They gave you the ability to transport the, the, the Kroshim, the Adonim, all the covers, everything else. And the Klea Mishka, Mishka, and they, that they carried by hand. So for that, they put back the Yud. So Magnusson is to the Chuba, and they got back the Yud for it. What did they do here? I could, you're right, they made it easier. You still didn't participate in the Mishkan. So the time is like this, what they said. The Mishkan, what's its purpose? Its purpose for Ruchni is to go out to Klal Yisrael. So, I think there. We guarantee, by the fact that we gave these, they made these things, that the that the Torah will travel wherever we go. In all of the places, wherever you place we were in history, we were in Golis many times, chased from one country to another country. We had immediately shulun and yeshivas were immediately set up. After the Nazis and the Holocaust, there were yeshivas set up in the DP camps, and what do you call over there, immediately right after the war. It had the, 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 we, these, we guarantee Christ so will have to. That's what they did. Once they did that, then, then whatever you did in the actual Mishkan itself, okay, you understand? Now you're guaranteed that you understood what you did wrong, you made sure that this is going to happen. It's an interesting thing, we had this actually happen to us. It was a love, I'm not going to mention, I'm not interested in embarrassing anybody, I don't know if it's embarrassing or not, maybe it's the love of but I'll tell you the story anyway, a town in the uh, states around the United States in the Northeast. Had a form of, I mean, I probably, you don't you go in issue of it, you wrote a space form and Brochus in the 1920s. And he went and he set up a fund that anyone that wants to come from his community to Yeshiva, this fund will pay, will pay tuition. Now obviously, the uh, fund never developed to the big much, but they had enough, like seven hundred and fifty dollars for the year. They were able to give uh, kids like that because that's what the fund paid. That was the cheshbon. Okay. This is filling, fitting with the uh, with the cash of the metal shares. The metal shares. Why it says it says here that the wagon was two two museum partners in a wagon. 
and each one brought one ox. I said, why don't they just make it that six guys bring two ox in each, six guys bring the wagons, and then you got the same amount. Why are you doing, why are you doing this such a strange? Two guys are partners. Why are you going to need partners? For? So he answered, the Medish answers that the, the, the Nassim were afraid that if, that if they wouldn't do in, in, in both parts, and let's say they had a wagon, and their wagon would break. And therefore, their part is finished. Okay, so then the shape it will give a new one. Yeah, but who said the shape is going to be smart enough to do and give a new one? Maybe they want that time, they don't want to give a new one. How do I make sure that they're going to have it in, in, in the whole time? So he split the, 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 the possibility of being left out between the dachshund and the wagon. And that's what this guy did. He made a fund. Uh, the shul obviously did not produce such people in the future. She didn't, whatever it is, like most, like most uh, out-of-town places disappeared and the stuff. But this fund re remained, and there was this orthodox shul, and it did have children that wanted to go to yeshiva, and I think were the only two, but they wanted to go to yeshiva, and the, the fund paid for them to go to yeshiva. So that, then that was the Rav's foresight. In the, 19, in the 20s. And I think it was similar to this. So that's what they accomplished. We now have the union of the actual Korbanus. And it's the longest metal shraba that, in, in, that exists. If you take a look at our pages, there's not even any Rashi on half of it, on most, on most of it. It's the same repetition, the Kobum is the same one, over and over and over again, right? And it's, uh, it's even made into a Kobum Tzibu. Uh, Shomer ben Amihud, who is the uh, Nasi of Ephraim, his, he came out on Yemai Shvi, Nasi of Ephraim was Shabbos. You now they started Sunday, it happened to be. He said, I came out on Shabbos. Uh, it's, it's a carbon yochid. How you how the day of Shabbos? So the Benishel made it, or the or the day made it. I have no idea how how they how it worked. That since all the carbonos were the same, and they were done for this, it became a carbon tzibo, and therefore it was day of Shabbos. Okay, carbon tzibo day of Shabbos. The Medrash brings down all different reasons why each Shavit brought what they brought, and it just happened to come out to be the same thing. But there were different reasons. They were not the same reason. And it says on the Shavit Shimon, which will come in the Gea to us later, by Midbo, that the Shavit Shimon gave Kineged Hamigdosh. Why is the Shevet Shimon giving Kinegan a Migdash? Then that job is not the Migdash. That's Levi's job. Why, why are you giving Kinegan a Migdash? Oh, Levi's not bringing any Korbanis. And then what's that got to do with you? So it seems from here, I'll explain later the, the actions of Zimri, why he what was Haiv Misa and what he, what he did. The thing there, that this was really, they felt that this really belonged to us. And the same thing like Adonio felt the Malchus should be his. He was the fourth son of David. So Amnon, uh, uh, what's his name killed? Uh, Afshalom killed. Kilov is not interested. He's sitting and learning. Uh, Afshalom was killed by Yoyav. Um, and I'm the fourth son. So I'm the king. Simple as that. Yeah. Same thing goes over here. Ruben is not interested anymore. We, we took it away from him, and they're not interested in competing for it. They're doing tshuva, right? I'm number two. Why is he going to number four? Or I mean, he's fighting for the for the malchus. I mean, for the for the kahuna. Why should he go to number three? He should stop at number two. I should get it. But they gave it to number three. So you see that 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 answer simply to uh, Cosby. 
Cosby, when she came, the manager says she is. He told she told uh, him he asked that he wanted to be uh, to be Mizana with her. She told him, my father told me either with the king or the second of to him. And you are not the king. He said, yeah, but I'm second the better, and he's only three the better. So I really, so what is he telling what that's, but he's still nobody. So what, what, you didn't answer the question. The question was, you're not the king. So he answered, no, I, I should be the king. It's called the pretender to the throne. He's the pretender to the throne. It's, it really should be mine. And hopefully in the time it will become mine. And with that, Mike Spicy made a revolution to try to make it his. Unfortunately, we'll let him my gave up. But the, that was the, the, the chet of Zimri's. Um, I, the truth is, I don't, I don't remember uh, the, all the different other ones that were there, but they, there's a lot of other stuff brought in. A lot of chidushim about anything. It's, if you have time and you like learning a medrash, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really worth it. I think you'll enjoy it. That's the thing. It, it, it's really uh, uh, a lot enlightens you up. A lot of delicious, a lot of things that, that each one is sacred to, each one, what it stands for, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Now, the end of the last posse is what's in the It said, It said, uh, On the posse of, I think we have it. Okay, so I'll pick the business. Um, Medabel, Kemoi Misdabel. Uh, we're talking about the, the cover of HaKadosh Baruch Loimakim, we say the word, it happens by itself. Medaber Beinei Ben Atzmei, he spoke to himself. He didn't speak to Moshe Rabbeinu. And Moshe was standing there, so he heard. But God did not speak to Moshe, he spoke to himself. Uh... Lahalocha on this thing has nothing to do with for the life and the pasuk, but to understand this much, maybe to understand it, um, the Rashiva Paskin that by hearing aid, the problem is not on the wearer, the problem is on the talker, because when he talks, the hearing aid vibrates or raises the electrical parts in that, so it's really the talker that's making the problem. He said that the Yisrael is only if he talks to the person wearing it. But if he's not talking to the person wearing it, then it's okay. What means talking to the person wearing it? If I whisper in its ear. If I come into the room, even though the only person is the other person, and he speaks loud enough that the other people in the room listening could have heard it, that's called not speaking to the person in its mutter. Uh, I can't answer you the, the, the swagos and the, the timing behind it, but I just said, but you see here the same concept. That it's not called, even I'm talking to you, I'm talking loud enough for other people to hear, that's not called talking to you. So now I understand the Pusik really, I mean, not really Pusik, but uh, again, a medosh uh, uh, in, in Pashis Vayeva, uh, back on Sora. It says that the Benishom wanted to talk to Sola so much that he waited until the last, uh, until, you know, right where he could ball her out and said, no, like it's a chokt, which is a, a, like a musa to her, but just because he wanted to be able to speak to her. What does that mean? Because the Benishom doesn't talk to any of you. So somehow Sora was special that Benjamin wanted to talk to Sora specifically. And that's why it seems to come out. Not that he just wanted to talk and it didn't pass him to talk to her because she's a woman. And I think that they know, this whole thing don't make sense. Benjamin's not a man, so what difference does it make? You know, so uh, a man, a woman. Uh, she was in a via. She was what he called, which the Madrege. So what, what's your problem? She was even a big enough in Afrom was. So why, 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 why didn't he want to talk to us at that? So I think it's because it is. God doesn't talk to people. 
God talks to himself. People hear. And that's what he says, like an antenna. Now, what depends what Madrig and Avu are, that depends if you hear. So if you're old, you know, a can give you Hasoy if you do something wrong, or what he called the, 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 the Vu that was given for someone else to say, whatever it said in the parishes of Nabi. That there's two from the Chayim Misa, that the, the, the three from the Chayim Misa, the, the Chayim Misa ones are, like you have to have Hasoy, be how you Chayim Misa, so Echav, Echav Hanavim can give him Hasoy because they all hear, they all hear. So why is he talking and not the rest of them? Because he's the one that was Mitzvah to be talk. Nobody else was Mitzvah to talk, so they have no right to talk. So this is the Taich of a, of, a, of a Navi. So the Benishu wanted to talk to, now I can give you a little idea of why I think. Uh, it's a very funny Pusik. She happens to be, she was Holland's daughter, which makes her Terech's granddaughter, right? So Harry should talk about, now take a look in the, look in the last Pesukim in Uh like this. Right? So and before, what, when he says her name before, supposedly, Basor and Abimilka Vabi Yisko, she's not called Sola, she's called Yisko. Right? She says, yeah, who's Yisko? Yisko is Sola. But never is a Torah Meyach is Sola to, to, to Terach. Avram is Terach's son. Sola is, has no Sheikh to Terach. Why? I don't know. I mean, but obviously there was something special about Sola, that the Torah didn't do, they, that, that's how big it's a Tkoni she was. And if that's the case, the Ben Shittaka wanted to talk to her as a Novi, different than any of it, even different than Moshe Rabbeinu, that he wanted to have that special talk to this Novi, Neviya. And uh, it happens to be a Neviya, it would have been a Novi, it would have been a man Novi. But now the, 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 the thing, and that's what the, the, what the person is talking about. And so over here, it's uh, because we see that he didn't talk to any Novi. Anyway, have a good Shabbos. Good job. Be well. Thank you.